let's talk about some of the investments you're making. I know that you've been public about kind of the, the specific assets that you're investing in, and it's a pretty diversified portfolio. You've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, and others. I want to talk about just quickly, if you can run through your general framework of how you determine where you're going to allocate capital. So I have come to the conclusion on all, all things digital, the best way to look at it, and I've said this several times, Bitcoin is not a coin, it's software. Ethereum is not a blockchain, it's software. It's all software. HBAR, software. And, and so what I do is I say to myself, I've seen this movie before. I was an investor in software you know, engineers 22 years ago at the learning company when we made educational software. So the way I used to do it then is the way I'm doing it now. I'm a very lucky guy. I can make a phone call and it always gets returned. That's the whole Shark Tank thing. And I get all that. But if I want to invest in Polygon, I want to meet the engineering team, which I did in Dubai. I called them up, met them, met the team, heard their vision of what they're doing, looked at the economic reality of the outcome, the potential of it. So first is team. I want to meet the team. If I, if I check the box on team, smart guys, good engineers, good strategy, good group, I'm interested. Here's the test, the second test. What economic value are they creating? In the case of Polygon, let's stay on that Polygon for a second. Aggregating transactions to reduce gas fees on, on ETH is a smart idea. There's a reason you would do that because you have an economic reason to pursue that. You save money. Transaction fees are less. So I think the potential of that is large. HBAR, okay? Great team, good engineers. What's the economic premise that would keep that growing? Well, Boeing wants a quasi centralized, decentralized platform. They want the best of both worlds. HBAR can deliver that. Check the box there. Buy into that one too. Look what's going on with, you know, Solana. I mean, they're trying to solve problems a different way too. Speed everything up. Check the box. Who's working on that? Sam Bankman Fried and his team. Why wouldn't you bet that horse? So it's all about getting positions in all of these, you know, software platforms. That's what they are. They're software platforms. So I, I say to institutions, you, you're, you criticize me for investing in Bitcoin. You own a big position in Microsoft. You own a 5% weighting in Yahoo. What is that? That's software. Why don't you do the same thing in Bitcoin? Why don't you do the same thing in Ethereum? Why aren't you in HBAR? Why aren't you in Polygon? Why aren't you in Serum? Why aren't you in Helium? Like it's all software. And so with, with that attitude on, it's hard to say I'll only invest in publicly traded software companies. One day these, to me, and I really believe this, one day crypto and all these software platforms are going to be the 12th sector of the S&P. And I'm just taking the bet now that we're on our way there and I'm taking and staking my bets now. Broad portfolio. You know, no one, Ethereum is my biggest position right now. Bitcoin's had a bit of a correction, I get it. But there's been volatility. But now, to offset that volatility, I own an exchange. So I want to own more exchanges. I look at it, it's all software. 